Hi, I'm Joanna Fifi, and I'm here today with Dr. Rebo and Dr. Rakena, co-investigators of the AngioCAT study. They have just presented their uh, trial results here today at the International Stroke Conference, um, and they're ready to discuss it. What was the trial about, and what are the implications for patient care? Well, thank you, Joanna. Yes, as, as uh, you know, over the last year, there's a progressive debate about uh, uh, the workflows in a hospital when acute strokes arrive, and if uh, uh, image quality in the angio suite is uh, good enough to make a good selection. We know from preliminary studies that we can shorten uh, dramatically the door to groin time down to 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and uh, therefore we designed AngioCAT as a randomized study when the patient arrives with high uh, suspicions of large vessel occlusion to be randomized either to the conventional neuroimaging uh, pathway or directly to uh, transfer to the angio suite where we could start immediately after a convinced CT uh, the procedure. And uh, the reason was to finally get uh, solid evidence about the benefits of direct transfer to the angio suite. And uh, what, so what did you guys find? So uh, between September of uh, 2018 and November of 2020, we have uh, randomized 104 patients. And we saw that patients that go directly to the street uh, and a shorter time on the hospital work for the faster, faster uh, door to premature time and a faster door to canalization time. And we saw that in, uh, have a better outcome at 90 days. The, what were the uh, practical um, uh, workflow that you had to implement? Did you have to make a lot of changes within your Andrew Suite and emergency room to implement this kind of strategy of going directly to Andrew Suite? So, uh, yeah, well, first thing we needed to do is uh, to train uh, paramedics and EMS to uh, pre-alert us. If you don't get a pre-alert for your EMS, uh, this is impossible. So our EMS uses a pre-hospital scale, the race scale, and uh, they always pre-alert us. And that starts the, 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 the trial uh, because we know the estimated time of arrival, we send somebody from the team to wait for the patient and right there at the doorstep, we uh, do a quick exam of the patient if he qualifies, meaning an NIH greater than 10, a confirmed NIH greater than 10, we would randomize the patient to the trial <coughs> to either of both arms. This is the only the only preparation we had. Of course, in the angio suite, everybody is aware of how important it is uh, to cut times and to get them down. And uh, yeah, that's also a, a, a work that has been done over the last years. Do you think this will be uh, um, uh, implemented in many hospitals, you know, uh, across your across the country or across the world? Yeah, I, I, I think we have we have seen that this progressively uh, is being adopted by more and more centers, uh, and uh, because it's effective now that we have showed this uh, uh, important clinical effect that it is completely safe and reduces, uh, shifts the, the ranking score uh, at, at three months. We believe that it's going to be adopted by more and more uh, centers. We're also working on a multi-centric uh, prospective randomized trial that is going to try to confirm our findings. And we hope that progressively uh, this will lead to uh, a widespread of this of this uh, screen technique, at least during working hours when the teams are uh, in house. Well, thank you for uh, sharing this important work with us, and, and congratulations on your results. I think we have a little bit of ways to go before we can uh, we we have to work uh, at all levels to to try to implement this uh, in our centers. Thank you.